Hey guys, it's Matt and Aaron doing another add-on showcase today, and this add-on showcase is Simonov's World War II Dodd Swebs. Day of Defeat. Day of Defeat Swebs, yes. So, basically we set up a little thing here to test out the weapons and test out some stuff. Uh, first, we're going to go into the entities over here. And basically, in entities, you go down to Simonov's ammo, and there will be ammo for all weapons. You can pick it up too. And basically you'll just get equipped with all your ammo and that's it for entities. Actually no, the we're still in entities. Okay, so now to the weapons. Let's get let's get every weapon laid out here. No, that's gonna be too difficult. Alright, let's just start out with the first weapon. The bar M one nine one eight A one. Ported animations. Uh, the model is also extremely nice. Let's shoot. You can change the type of fire from semi yeah, there's two different to arm. You can also put the weapon down by hitting. Uh, e and click button. Animations are decent. The model e is plus nice. Up. Oops. That's the model. Alright, next we're going to be doing the bar M19182. Which I already have. Just so you can see it. <laughs> Here, show me the world model. No. Refuse. Looks nice. Holds perfectly in your hands. Doesn't come out of your crotch. I prefer weapons that come with a little microphone. Sounds are pretty weird and not the best. Sounds don't really fit the model. Alright, next. <laughs> Lol. I'll be right back. Okay. Next, the bazooka. Fire this away from. I like the bazooka scripted. I like how it can go anywhere really in that radius. Ow, try not to kill me, please. Alright, next is the Browning HP. Pea shooter. Oh, you knocked over our target. And to be honest, in my in my hands, it doesn't feel right. It feels kind of low packing punch. Feels kind of nice. Sluggish. Next, we go to the cult. These are the animations Valve did, so they're really good. I am back. I'm back. Some people just don't know how to unmute their computer volume. We were just on the cult 911. 1911. Now we're going to the day. What is this? Day Lissy Carbine. De Lissel or De Lissy or something. Some French thing. <laughs> animations are overused animations. They could have gotten a custom one for it. At least it's quiet. The model is nice. 
close to mid range quiet sniper rifle for sneaking in behind people and shooting you in the ballsack. Alright, next we're going to the Dur. Dur. Dyken. What? How do you even say this? Dur. Deg. Dig Tyrev. I would guess. This is a bad guess because I'm horrible at pronouncing things. <laughs> the way it reloads looks like it would be very hard to do standing up. <laughs> Basically, you can play it on the stuff. So, let's. Uh, accuracy and stuff. Next is the double barrel shotgun. I can find it. It like shoots fully automatically for some reason sometimes. Pretty simple, pretty boring. Next is the FG-42. Pretty good. Animations are nice. If you hold the interest right click, you can switch it to semi-automatic. Also, if you put E and click with it. Don't throw anti-tank grenades at me, man, man. It solves nothing. Next, we have a German disc grenade. Used for anti-tank purposes. Hooray. God. Looks like we knocked over our whole... To be expected. Here's the other one. Ow, can we not shoot me? Just gonna scoot that dead body into the water. Doesn't exist. In fact, it's it's in the sky now. All right, you know you guys know it's stick grenades too. Throw them away from the the testing area. Yeah. One smoky, one explodes. General stuff. Throw that one. Alright, next is the Gure 43. Gure 43. Seems to be for the most part accurate if you can aim. Field number two, mark one. Next is the M one carbine.
Next is the M1 Grand. Notice some of these sounds I'm, are from... I'm just going to hold the bayoneted version since it's exactly the same. Bayonetted version has different sounds though, which sound nicer in my opinion. Mm. I like them. How do you use said bayonet? Great question. You might not be able to. Next is the trim M M one eight nine seven trench gun. Yeah. <laughs> nice power to it. Feels nice in your hands. And then of course as the short version. Yeah, you got the first short version too. That holds two leather bullets. Next is the trench knife, which is throwable. Oh, it is. And it will stick into walls and such. And bounce off targets apparently. Please don't litter the map, trench knives. Ugh. I'll throw them right back at you. <laughs> Next is the M one nine one nine A three thirty caliber. Ooh. You can deploy this weapon. At least I thought you could. E right click. Try doing it when you're crouching, see if it does it. It only does it when I'm crouching. Why did the Shoot prop me. just float? Uh. Science. <laughs> just gonna retrieve this now. Zero gravity targets. Next is the M2 carbine. There you go. Which apparently is automatic. If you want to shoot something with a sniper, just shoot this guy way over here. Or his brother Gustavo way over there on the grass. Next is the M1 grease gun. Or M3. Pardon me.
Next is the scoped magnet. Mag mag M9130 scoped again. Please just stop shooting me, sir. You are not welcome in this country. The animations in the game look really nice. I actually like they look kinda weird, not gonna lie. Overall a nice gun. Next is the Mauser C ninety six. Ah, there's the stock version. I like the stock version. Makes it so you can hold it better. Next is the Mauser Car ninety eight K. Okay, so next is the Mauser. It's a scoped. It's a scoped version. That's self explanatory. Reload's a little different because of the scope. Yeah. Alright, next is the MG42. This big old. The thing I killed you with the most back when we played Day of Defeat. <laughs> Next weapon is the MP40. Now, we will remind you that all of these weapons have uh, world models. More models. Alright, let's fire this up. Next is the Nambu Type 14, which looks like a little pea shooter. <laughs> what is it? A point twenty two type thing? That's what this looks like. This little thing is not powerful. Next is the P08 Luger. Looks like a slightly bigger version. And it has that weird little top thing that I always stare at. Oh, I can't aim with that gun. Screw that. Now to the Panzer Strike. Okay, try not to do that. Shielded or non-shielded, your choice. Not completely accurate, but still decently usable. Gets the job done. Next is the Panzer check without shield. Which is the same thing without a shield, I don't need to show you that. 
You get the point. Next is the PPSH. A gun I like to see in many games. Next is the frag grenade, which is pretty self-explanatory. It's the same as the stick grenades, just differently shaped. Next is the Russian smoke grenade. But you get the point. <laughs> Next is the spade. I mean, come here really quick. See, spade works wonders on the head. Uh, next is the Springfield sniper rifle. Pretty self-explanatory, am I right? Just a Springfield sniper rifle. Next is the Sten MK3, it looks like. Aaron, are you still here with me? Yes, I am. I'm just hiding in the internet for a second. Because why not? Next is the SGG-44. Another German gun. Next is the Thompson... M one nine two one A one number. Sound could be a little better. Uh, next is the same thing. Now this one has one number different. You have one? the M1 928A1 and the M1921. What's the difference? One of them is a later model. That's about it. I see. All right, now do the Thompson M1A1. Next is the Tokarov. I cannot stop that. Tokarov, though. What? And the next one is scoped, so. Scoped, you can skip that. And then there's also the Tokarov. TT33. TT33. It's a handgun. Same animations as the Colt. Uh, now U.S. Pineapple Grenade. Self-explanatory, again. Yep, I'm just gonna chuck one of those down there. Uh, U.S. Smoke Grenade, that's obvious. Uh, next is the Walter P2K. Or, no, I'm sorry, not... P thirty eight. I wanted to say. We'll get to the other one eventually. Last but not least, the Walter PPK. 
The muzzle flash is appearing on the left side of my screen. Same here. Hold on. And I think that's it, guys. Um, that's another weapon spec. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, that's it. All hope right, guys. You guys enjoyed it. Yep, hope mm -hmm. you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I think that's it. Fish. Especially a random deathmatch in the bathground. <laughs> bathground? Ooh. Bathground. Like this lake. Okay. Taking a bath. Alright, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Any, anything you want to say, Aaron? Uh, look out. It's a knife. Okay, you dodged it. Good job. <laughs> okay. Alright, guys. Thank Bye. you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.